Hey, what's up, YouTube? Real quick, uh, it's came on Jay. Seems like uh, everywhere I go, every liquor store in San Diego, every liquor store in your local hood, every ghetto. I don't know if every ghetto, but I know in here in San Diego, all the liquor stores is owned by Chaldeans. You may not know they're Chaldeans. You may think they're Arabic, but they're Chaldeans. And I started taking a notice of that. So I went to every hood, every ghetto. I went to the, over to the south, through the southeast. And sure enough, man, every liquor store in San Diego is owned by a Chaldean over in the ghetto. So what does that mean? That means that they're making a profit off of the black community, black and brown community. Uh, off of whoever lives in that area. They're making a profit off the ghetto. Uh, by selling them liquor. Now, I thought about that, you know what I'm saying? I thought about that because it reminds me of, like, all the companies that uh, profited off of slavery. There's companies that profited off of slavery that in today's time, today's society, people are blackballing, people are banning, and at least, if not even blackballing or banning their products, we are at least coming forward and saying, hey, check this out. You owe the black community for all the damage that you caused, for all the harm that you caused, you owe the community. Now, let's let's analyze this for a minute. Nobody makes, nobody told, everybody has a choice to go inside a liquor store and buy some drink or not. You know, nobody makes anybody drink. But those who provide the liquor, those who sell the liquor, uh, whether they're just doing it strictly as a business, you know what I'm saying, to feed their family, should at least be conscious and at least be aware that um, your business is harming people. Your business is contributing to crime in the community and your business is at fault in a way. And, and if nothing else, you your business owes some rep, some restitution, some repairs uh, for the damages that you've caused. And so I've been thinking about this lately. I've been thinking about a plan to put into action. And more than just talk, I, I've been thinking about this really. What's going on is uh, black men. I want you to look, L.A., I want you to look, if you're in Compton, I want you to look at your liquor stores and see, go ask the, the, the person at the uh, cash register, say, hey, are you Chaldean? Or or just say, you know, hey, where are you from? What, what nationality are you? Now, why is that a problem? So what if they own it? It's a problem because of this. While they feel it's okay to come do business with the black community, it's okay to offer us poison they refuse to allow us to assimilate or marry within their culture. They refuse to allow their daughters to marry a black man. They refuse to, they'll do business with you, but they refuse to mix as though we're family, as though we're on the even playing field. They refuse to, uh, see us in the same status. That, my brothers and sisters, is white supremacy. Even if they're not white, as we know them, as, as we know or what we think about as white, it's white supremacy, belief and doctrine that black is forever inferior. I don't want to stay stuck in the problem. I'm not bringing this to you so we can just cry and and we could rally and we could sit on the four corners of death i'm not that's not why, why i'm doing this i'm bringing this because i'm bringing a movement i got a movement that i'm that i'm really really about to put into play and i need all of your help i don't care if you drink you know some of y'all say may say like well we drink so what man you know somebody got it's bigger than that it's bigger than that it, what it's about it's about people profiting off of the black and I'll throw brown community, black and brown. But my primary focus is we can't we can't marry their daughters. 
why we can't marry their daughters? But they can sell us liquor in the whole South Beach. And some of y'all got to have your drink. I know that. But what I'm saying is this. I'm calling for action. I'm calling for these Chaldean liquor store owners. They need to donate. To I, I'm going to create a list of nonprofits, a list of black owned businesses, really nonprofits that, that, can, that are working in the black community, that are helping the black community, that are offering programs, offering resources, offering treatment. Because after all you this damage you're doing, after all these alcoholics you caused, after all these, you know, people that have got drunk and went out there and killed people, after all these people that have got drunk in front of a liquor store and shot dice and lost their life, after all these liquor store, after all the liquor people done bought and consumed, by choice, nobody made them. So I'm not saying that. We got to be responsible for our actions. I know that. We have to be responsible for our actions and ultimately to you to drink or not drink, it is your choice. If you want to drink, you're going to drink. I don't advocate drinking because there are some health issues, but I know how it is. People drink. But once you get to a level, a certain level, where you don't need no man-made substance, you don't need nothing outside of this body, you can walk through life and deal with it. And I encourage you to. And until you can, just stand by those who can. I'm one of the ones who can. I'm doing a lot. That has nothing to do with my strength. That's because I lean upon a greater source. We got to do something about it. I'm creating a list right now of nonprofits. If you have a nonprofit, if you have a movement that you're pushing to advance society that is geared toward offering services to the black or brown community or to the urban community, to the, to the ghettos, period, the ghetto. Because in the ghetto, we got, on the Southeast, you got Asians, you got Samoans, you got Mexicans, you got blacks, you even got some white trash up in there. And so if you try to, uh, if you offer in services, you got a service geared toward uplifting that community, I need you to go ahead and hit, drop me a comment, leave the name of your program. And so that your program can be a part of this list because this list is going to be presented to every Chaldean owner within the Southeast San Diego. That's where we started. It's going to be presented. And they're going to have their choice to choose what program they would like to donate to. And the reason I believe that they should donate, not because we're coming with force or fear or intimidation, but because we're going to present some gut-wrenching facts that your business has wreaked more harm than it has helped our community. Right? And so these are outside forces. These are businesses and things we can see. There's other things and services that are geared toward working toward the inner man, like the churches that you see in the ghettos. The churches are geared toward working and uplifting the sick. The, those who are sick have a sick spirit. Those who have a deadened conscience. Those whose light is dimming. And so this is deep, man. It gets deep uh, as far as what, what we have to do. And uh, what we need to do because domestic violence is real. Okay. And a lot of times had, had people been sober, they would have made better decisions. But because of the drugs. And I know that this is uh, somebody's business. I know that. And I know that it's a legalized business. I'm aware of that. But I also am aware of that once upon a time, uh, it wasn't legal. And even if it is legal. We know that the government legalizes crime. I mean, and they legalize sin all the time. It don't make it right. And we're calling that they uh, think about what they're doing. We're not telling them to stop. We're simply asking that they balance it out. Some of the money that has been uh, taken from the black community, I'm, I'm, that's my emphasis. I throw everybody in there as a courtesy. My emphasis is always forever uh, you, you, the black man. Unapologetic about it. Uh, and... I should say, stop a lot if I'm misrepresenting Islam, because uh, sometimes those are my personal views. Islam is a, is a, is a religion open to all uh, nationalities, all races. And, and so I don't want to ever misrepresent. My passion, however, is emphasis on uh, those who look just like me, but in all actuality, those who suffer like me, 
those who have suffered like me. And so that broadens it up a little bit. But hit me up. Hit me up in my comments. Let me know the name of your program. If you got my, if you want to hit me up on my Instagram, that's even better, or my uh, email, kingmanye at gmail.com. Tell me what you think about this. Like I say, I'm not telling nobody that they can't sell liquor. I'm not telling them to close down their they liquor stores and stop selling alcohol. You know, I'm not telling y'all wild motherfuckers to mount up and go rob them. In fact, I'm saying don't do that. Don't go rob them. Whatever you do, don't go out there and press upon the liquor stores and mention this is in an ignorant manner. Please know that there is, uh, this has already been identified. This is a movement in the making. This is something that's already going forth. And it's been presented, only I'm presenting it to the audience, to my audience right now, because I want you to start thinking next time you go buy that liquor, that little alcohol, that 211 bottle, and just look at the man that's selling it to you. He's not doing it, I like to believe, he's not doing it intentionally to harm you or poison you or because he hates your guts. However, however, there's three things I want you to identify. I want you to know that first, you can't never be a part of his family, which means he don't sell, he can't, he won't never let you marry his daughter, which me, which is, that's an undertone. That's a big undertone of racism, meaning that in his mind, his tradition, he believes he's superior to you. And the only dealings he has with you is one of a customer. He'll continue to sell you that liquor. He'll continue to smile with you. He may even allow you to work for the liquor store. So to sell other black people the liquor, you cannot marry his daughter. You cannot become his son-in-law. You cannot have a child with his daughter and, and, and intermix your seed. That's number one. I want you to realize number two, all the liquor stores are owned by Chaldeans. Chaldeans is some Arab descent some region. They are not Muslim. They are Catholic. Most of them, majority. A majority of Chaldeans are Catholic. I want you to notice that. I want you to notice why is it? And the reason I believe, the reason I was told is because this is the business that they created when they came to America as immigrants and their family traditions, they just keep it going. So there is no uh, big conspiracy other than this is the business they know and that they've been taught and that they, they've uh, got a monopoly on. So I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. However, now that they're in this business, they need to be brought to their attention. All the families they have destroyed, all the alcoholics they have helped out and enabled uh, to die. And, and we want to offer them a chance to repair that damage. And thirdly, uh, please be all, please be aware and, and, and take note. Anybody listening, I do not encourage violence. I do not encourage robbery, you to go up there and act a fool at the liquor store. I'm not even telling you to stop buying their liquor as though that's the movement. Because people are gonna do what they do. On a personal level, I just I don't I don't drink, you know. It's against the tenets of Islam. It said there's more harm that comes from drinking than there is benefit. That's your personal decision. But we are making it making the community aware that help is on the way. And that some more resources should be brought back into this community, the same community that for years and years and years, the liquor stores in your local community have destroyed. We talking about Moonlight Liquor, Dr. J's Liquor. We talking about uh, all the liquor. We talking about all the liquor stores. We talking about Sam's Liquor. We talking about uh, King's Liquor. We talking about Queen's Liquor. We talking about all the liquor stores all through the Southeast. You name them. I've been to all of them. I've been, this ain't something I just thought of. This is something I'd be observing and going to and actually peeping game. And so y'all continue to do what you do, man. Hit the like. Hit the comment. Hit the subscribe. Become part of the Mind Yay Tribe, man. And always know that, man. I don't do this shit uh, for shits and giggles, you know. I do this because I want to advance society. I want to make the my community a better place. And I'm trying to repair the damage that I've personally done. And I invite everybody along to do the same thing. God bless.